Welcome to Competence FBOFN 303, Maintain Food Nutrients in Cooking. Today we'll explore learning outcome 3. Maintain balanced diets. Let's dive into the key topics we'll cover in this session. First, let's outline the topics. 1. Identify diets. 2. Select diets as per health conditions. 3. Calculate nutrients. Now, let's delve deeper into each topic. Identify diets. Diets encompass the daily eating patterns and choices individuals make. In contrast, a balanced diet is fundamental for optimal health, involving a diverse array of foods in appropriate proportions to meet nutritional needs. These habits, known as dietary habits, encompass behaviors related to food consumption, including meal timing, portion sizes, and food selection. The importance of a balanced diet lies in its ability to prevent diseases like heart disease and diabetes, support bodily growth and development, strengthen the immune system, and boost energy levels. Various types of diets cater to different preferences and restrictions, including vegetarian diets that exclude meat but may include dairy and eggs, non-vegetarian diets that include meat and fish, and lacto-vegetarian and lacto-ovo-vegetarian diets that have specific exclusions and inclusions of dairy and eggs. These dietary variations allow individuals to align their food choices with cultural, ethical, or health-related beliefs while ensuring nutritional adequacy. Select diets as per health conditions. When it comes to choosing diets based on health conditions, it's like putting together a puzzle with many pieces. First, we must understand what health issues someone might be dealing with, like diabetes or heart problems. Then, we consider how old they are, if they're male or female, how active they are, and how fast their body burns energy. For example, if someone has diabetes, they might need to watch how many carbohydrates they eat to keep their blood sugar in check. And if they have heart issues, they might need to cut back on foods high in saturated fats and cholesterol. Plus, we have to think about what foods they like to eat, their cultural background, and how much money they have to spend on food. By working with healthcare professionals like dietitians or nutritionists, we can create a diet plan that fits their needs and helps them feel their best. Calculate nutrients. We follow the recommended dietary allowance RDA to calculate nutrients for essential things like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Carbs should be about half of what we eat each day, fats should be about a third with a focus on healthier fats, and proteins should be around 10 to 35 percent. The amount we need can depend on things like how active we are. The right amounts of vitamins and minerals vary, for example, adults usually need about 75 to 90 milligrams of vitamin C and 1000 milligrams of calcium daily. By knowing these recommendations, we can ensure we get the nutrients we need to stay healthy. Calculating nutrient serving sizes involves considering age, physical activity, weight goals, and health conditions. These factors determine individual nutritional needs, ensuring optimal health and well-being. For example, a sedentary adult woman weighs 60 kilograms, 132 pounds. To calculate her protein RDA, Protein RDA equals 0.8 grams kg per day times body weight in kilograms. Protein RDA equals 0.8 grams kg per day times 60 kg. Protein RDA equals 48 grams per day. In summary, we've covered the importance of identifying diets, selecting diets as per health conditions, and calculating nutrients to maintain balanced diets. Now, let's assess your understanding. Why is it essential to maintain a balanced diet? How do health conditions influence dietary choices? What factors should be considered when calculating nutrient intake? 
Reflect on these questions to reinforce your learning. Thank you for joining us in this session. See you next time.